Lightning, weather, whiplash, and rising temperatures continue to cause flooding concerns along the Wasatch Front and in the Cache Valley. Mike. Yeah, with more rain in the forecast here, flood preparations are an unusual January chore this year. New specialist Jed Bull showing us why the rain is quickly turning into running water out there. Jed? Well, Mike, typically most of our communities don't even have to think about sandbags until the spring thaw, but rising temperatures turn snow into rain, and many of these big mounds of ice and sludge in our community are already starting to mount down, and that raises two flooding concerns right off the bat. First of all, rising temperatures are melting a lot of snow at lower elevations, and that could lead to flooding. Also, if heavy rainfall lands on snowpack, it doesn't have anywhere to go. The rain cannot soak into the ground, so that water runs right off and can cause a lot of flooding. UDOT does not have any specific areas right now that they're worried about, but there is heavy localized rain in any of our communities. They want to be ready. We want to be prepared in case something does happen. Uh, this type of event, you just never know. I mean, it's you, you prepare and you anticipate being able to react quickly and mitigate the problem. UDOT is keeping a close eye on drains on our highways to make sure that they're not clogged and not causing any flooding on our roadways. UDOT is also making sure that they make those sandbags available here in our Salt Lake County office so that if any communities have rising flood problems, they can contact UDOT for that kind of help. For Live at 5, I'm Jed Bowl reporting. Jed, thank you.